Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Crypto Ginger here. Guys, I wanted to just take a quick moment with this video and go over some of the reasons why I think we're seeing a major decline in the entire cryptocurrency market. Uh, just real quickly, I will say that we have seen a substantial amount of money being pulled out of the entire market. Bitcoin was definitely affected right off the bat. And as you can see with LiveCoinWatch.com, uh, which is really a nice uh, you know change from CoinMarketCap.com, you can actually see all of your prices being adjusted in real time. Uh, basically, Bitcoin is down to just under $8,400. Uh, of course, all of your other cryptocurrencies have followed in suit with what happened with Bitcoin, so they're all on the decline, just short of your stable coins. And as a matter of fact, a real quick look here, something interesting to take in when you're seeing these declines in the cryptocurrency markets. Check out your stable coins. Look at the volume for Bitcoin versus that of Tether. We have a volume of $15 billion dollars going into bitcoin right now and we have 22 billion dollars going into tether so that means guys that the market still has money there it's just sitting off on the sidelines in tether waiting for something to actually take place where we see a nice bullish trended market and then i would imagine a lot of that money in tether will start being dispersed into other cryptocurrencies and more importantly your top performing coins but guys again money is sitting on the sideline right now just simply waiting and i think a lot of this decline has to do with what we're seeing in the news when it comes to the u.s house committee hearing and the sec we're not getting really any clarity at this point in time from the the SEC still I'm not sure what the time frame is going to be like when it comes to getting regulatory clarity and I'm not even sure why they're stalling it's becoming very frustrating when you start seeing this and you're someone who's wanting to invest in this market here especially as an early adopter but you can't get clarity from people who are smart enough to give you clarity <laughs> I mean they have Hester Pierce who is a crypto friendly member of the SEC and they still can't give a prominent stance on what's supposed to happen with this entire market let alone those coins that are either going to be labeled as a security or not labeled as a security um, I think that their primary focus is this Libra stable coin obviously so and guys right off the bat the Libra stable coin is being considered a threat to the United States dollar okay that's just all there is to it and I think that's the reason why they're stalling the way they are but the information that we're gathering here at least the way I'm interpreting it is very unusual and the reason why I say it is because they're not stopping Facebook Literally not stopping Facebook at all when it comes to uh, them creating this stablecoin, this Libra stablecoin, and having it come out to you know the entire world, the masses of the world here. They're not stopping it. So it makes me wonder if there's something happening under the radar, under the hood of all of this, that we just simply don't know about, where they're stalling this out for Facebook so that that Libra stablecoin can be a success when it does hit the market. And it will hit the market because we're not seeing anything that says it's not going to. We've seen a lot of people express their concerns about it and their, and their disdain for a Libra stablecoin because, again, it could be a threat to the United States dollar, but we're not seeing them stop it. And then, of course, you know you have members of the uh, hearing here, for example, Maxine Bitcom Waters, uh, who has really no understanding of cryptocurrency or even what a Bitcoin is, let alone the idea that Facebook's going to come out with this stable coin. But nonetheless, guys, we still have people here that are undecided when it comes to what's supposed to happen with this market. And these are the people that we're actually supposed to be getting the right kind of information for so we can actually move forward with this new digital asset class. But nonetheless, guys, again, I think the SEC is pretty much stalling everything. And again, their major concern is about this, you know, Libra stablecoin project that's coming out from Facebook. So guys, if you don't know about this stablecoin, please go look it up. I've definitely done videos on it. it is, it's on stablecoin. It's being backed and pegged to several different currencies across the globe. And again, it is being considered a type of threat to the United States dollar. Think about it this way. Facebook has roughly around 2.3 billion users. If they had all those users automatically start hopping onto the Libra stablecoin when it comes into existence, that takes away from the United States dollar because then no one's going to be using that particular currency versus that of the Libra stablecoin when they can have access to it very easily. It's all digital. And I would imagine as well with the amount of companies that are really affected and affiliated by the Libra stablecoin, um, this is going to be something they want to have as a form of payment just as well. So again, you can see how this could be a major threat to the United States dollar and why the SEC is stalling on this. But again, they're not saying no to Facebook. They're just saying their disdain for the Libra coin. But 
very interesting guys we still have people considering it the euro coin that's one of the reasons why again uh you know it's being considered a threat to the united states dollar and right alongside of that guys we also had the sec come out and delay decisions on a wilshire bitcoin etf proposal so this is just yet another etf that's not going to take place when it comes to bitcoin so why 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 again we're not really seeing a lot of action happening i think that all these negative points here are reasons why we're seeing this decline in the cryptocurrency market thank you sec for not being so decisive on what's happening in the market here that you're causing a decline here again my speculation guys you guys can actually make your own speculation as to what's happening with the market but nonetheless this right here is one of those things that's going to be an agitator for those who are in this market as early adopters because we're not seeing any real success coming from the SEC. You have people like Hester Pierce who is supposed to be crypto friendly as a member of the SEC and we're not seeing any progress. So again, it can be frustrating. I do apologize for expressing that frustration in this video, but nonetheless, guys, uh, as an early adopter right alongside with you guys, I can actually, you know, sense this frustration coming from a lot of other people and it would just simply be nice to get some sort of clarity. Now I will say this, think about what will happen to the entire market. The moment the SEC comes out and says, Hey, you know what? This is what's going to happen. These are the regulations with the cryptocurrency market and these are the coins that are considered securities. These are the coins that are not considered securities. Go for it. Move forward. That right there is going to change the entire dynamics of the entire market here. And one last thing I want to kind of end on when it comes to the SEC and really being undecisive, especially about XRP. And lastly, I found this tweet here very interesting. This is actually information coming from the actual hearing itself. Someone took a video recording of a small section of the hearing with Representative Gonzalez talking to SEC's Jay Clayton about utility tokens. Um, here we have the tweet coming from XRP will set me free. He writes, listen carefully, no tokens name, but it's a huge positive for what's coming. Watch and listen carefully to the utility token part. The thing that I gathered from this right here, which again, I would highly encourage you all to just take a quick listen to, is about a minute and 53 seconds. But nonetheless, Representative Gonzalez here says to Jay Clayton, we absolutely have businesses taking off and leaving to places like Singapore. And he was very specific on certain countries that he named. He said other countries, but he said Singapore very specifically. And he's saying that these companies are leaving with their fintech technology from the united states to these other countries where the regulation and the clarity is not nearly as undecided as the way that the sec is actually handling this and he's telling jay clayton you need to hurry up you need to make this faster and so jay clayton kind of just mumbles around i mean you can even see him right here with his smiles and everything it's just it's annoying it's annoying being someone who's an early adopter and you have members of the SEC who can't make a deciding factor on this, especially when you have someone like uh, Hester Pierce who is supposed to be crypto friendly. They're not making any decision and it's not rational at this point in time. And so I think that it's absolutely impacting the entire market here with what we're seeing taking place. But of course, you know, this is my speculation. We're not seeing a lot of news coming from the SEC when it comes to, again, some sort of regulatory clarity on what kind of utility tokens are going to be deemed a security and not a security. And XRP falls in that limbo there. So. All I can say, guys, is that we know Ripple is at the forefront when it comes to a lot of the development for this entire ecosystem. And if Ripple is trying to make a use case and push XRP out there and we can't get anything from the SEC on the clarity of XRP, it won't be too much longer before Ripple has to make a deciding factor and choice to either keep their entity here in the United States or move it out and try to be successful elsewhere. So you have to let me know what you think about this information, guys. I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer with this information. I was just saying that the SEC is a major hindrance on the entire market at this point in time. So let me know what you think about this, guys. Thank you for being a part of this channel. Thank you for watching. If you're new to this channel, please hit the like and subscribe button and hit that notification bell just as well. Share this information out with as many early adopters as you possibly can. Let's get as many on board as we possibly can as well because we're Right now, everything, at least from the way I'm seeing it, is on sale when it comes to cryptocurrencies and digital assets. So this is not financial advice. I'm just letting you all know that we are dealing with a fire sale 
No thanks, obviously, to the SEC, but then, of course, major thanks to the SEC because we didn't get regulatory clarity, but we also got uh, a pretty big discount in the market because they're undeciding factors that are taking place right now with the market. So, again, let me know what you think about this information. I definitely apologize for mumbling and rambling on with this. It's just a very frustrating situation sometimes. But nonetheless, you guys have a beautiful day. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.